Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add notebook and the page in the form view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use groups, header, sheet, new line, separator, the h1 tag in the form view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. This playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. All right. Let's back to our main topic. Guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus, you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions. So in our last session, we talked about how we can arrange a beautiful manner, right? Using the group header buttons, right? Separator, then after the child group and all. So in this discussion, I'm going to show you that how we can arrange different types of page wise data display. All right. So for that, we can go to here in this custom add ons student view and student view right here. So this is the search view. Let me minimize. This one is the form view, right? And here I'm going to show you how we can also implement the notebook and the page right so notebook is the one time we can use here this tag and inside we have to use the page the multiple pages right like this so what is the purpose of the each page right we will see let's say if we want to display group let's say this student detail right we want to use we can cut here we can pass here like this instead of this message right this string message we can cut and we can add here in, as a page name okay like this one more thing is if you want to use the multiple group right that is also fine or let's say you want to use the single group that's also fine let's say this one I'm using here let me cut this message to the page level okay and then after this one we can cut we can paste here like this string fees and gender right like this way and let's see uh, first thing is we change here in the XML file so we must have to upgrade the module so for that we can use minus u student guys if you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm please check a detail level playlist I already explain everything here you can see like this right before the refresh the screen now let's see here after refresh the screen you can see student detail is available here right you can see this data this fields you can see here once I click here you can see this detail fees and gender you can see like this right you can see here this description and HTML description which is not inside the notebook right so that's why you can see here like this after this notebook and page layout right it will display here so if you want to add also this one in the new tab right we can also use simple page string and simple we can use here let's say description like this copy paste let me comment it out this one because this group is not mean it's not useful as of now right so that's why I'm trying to commit and here let me refresh the screen and now you can see here 
the description tag right like this okay here the question is it display here right one is here and second is here so we can also rearrange this one using one more group like this and we can add inside this group so after automatically it will adjust parallel right these two groups right so it's display in a very arrangeable way right now one more thing is the page attribute uh, this tag right it, it's also supports invisible attribute so let's based on the condition right you can uh, visible or not visible this page so for example let's say gender equal to equal to male right so it will invisible this tab let me restart the service and refresh the screen you can see gender is male right so you can see that tab is not visible but let's uh, if i will use female you can see the description is visible right let's say if i will change as uh, again male see that option is that tab the page is not available right so main purpose is this is the page this is the page right if you didn't provide the name of the page then you can see how it it's look like right might be there is a chance you have to see here let's say female right you can see here if you hover here then after you know okay here there is a, some pages available right but let's say if i will make it male right now i can't see here see so it's best you can add name here without string right if you add here that that is meaningless so use as a user experience you cannot even as a developer you cannot see here right if i'm giving you some basic idea if you have to check like this then you can see oh okay so there is a page is here so it's best you can add string right so like this way you can add pages and all now here uh, let's see some more useful buttons right so create button let's say if i will add here zero right and i will try to upgrade the module so before that you can see here the new button is visible right you can see here the duplicate and delete option is also visible once i will refresh the screen you cannot see here new button plus the duplicate button is also hide right why duplicate button because that it's a new record creation functionality right so that's the reason it will automatically hide that option let's say if i will use here the write as a zero that means i'm not able to write this whole page now you can see ah you can see here right it's visible but it's my mistake it is a edit equal to zero so let me refresh the screen and now you can see after the refresh right it's uh this home the whole page is read only the button it is working fine right it's perform the specific operation but the front end part here the fields actually it's read only so here we have to use delete instead of unlink right here let me upgrade the module and you can see this button is visible right this one so once i will refresh the screen that button is not visible right uh, for the duplicate option we have that like let's say duplicate equal to zero okay uh, once i will refresh the screen now you can see that option is also not available all right 
so yeah that's it as of now for this session if you still have any doubt related this notebook pagination and this buttons visible or not please comment it out and see you in our next session